Hey, I'm JD from Dothan Nurseries. Um, kind of what I want to go over are some of the questions I get this time of year. Uh, what, what, one, I, one I do get a lot of is a lot of people are interested in doing fruit trees, and they uh, they want they want to know what what kinds the easiest, or I like to tell them what kinds the easiest. Some people say they want to grow exotic things like kiwis and mangoes and that stuff, which is fun, but it's not really made for Southeast Alabama. So, kind of the easier things if you're wanting to get into fruit in Alabama or Southeast Alabama. Blueberries, figs, um, persimmons, persimmons do great. Uh, they, and these are the ones that are easy, you can about plant and forget about. Uh, muscadines, that's another easy one. Kind of the, what I call the second tier that takes a little more care, but still easy are your peaches, pears, plums, that kind of thing. So if you're wanting to get in the, the fruit in your yard, it, it, it's pretty easy. And uh, some, are, some are easier than others. So you just, just need to make sure what you're getting. and. Um, also ask the questions about pollinators. Some, uh, a peach tree will pollinate itself, uh, an apple tree will not. You have to get the right kind of apple tree to pollinate. Uh, but with a peach tree, you can just plant one and you're good. Another one people ask about a lot, which is kind of, just getting more and more popular, citrus trees. Uh, satsumas, lemons, limes, that kind of thing. The, they grow fine here nine months out of the year. The problem is the winter, and that's, that's when you have your problems. The um, so there's some citrus that are a little more cold hardy than others. The satsuma, the kumquats are pretty cold hardy. The, uh, the lemons and limes are not. So you, you gotta be careful and know if you're planting a lemon or lime, you may wanna plant it in a pot so you can move it indoors when it gets really cold. Uh, satsuma kumquat, um, you've got a little bit more, it'll take a little bit more cold weather, uh, satsuma or kumquat. Um, another one, another question I get this time of year is uh, the grass, people have weeds in the grass. How do I fix the weeds? And most people want a one shot, do this, and I don't have any weeds, and that's not really the way it works. Uh, getting rid of weeds in your grass is a year long battle. So if you have weeds in your grass right now, and this is when people notice them when it's warm, uh, you have to go spray those uh, with a product called Atrazine or Weed Free Zone. Spray them, that'll get rid of them. And, but then they're gonna wanna come back. So the way to, the thing you do is you spot spray them as we go through the spring and summer. When we get into the fall and winter and your grass goes dormant, you want to put out a granular material called, uh, it's called a pre-emergent, and that kills the weed seeds before they have time to become weeds the next year. And that's the one major thing to do that nobody does, is put out the pre-emergent during the winter time, and that stops you from getting the, uh, the weeds in the spring and the summer. And I'm, I'm JD at Dothan Nurseries. We're located on 1300 Montgomery Highway near downtown Dothan, and uh, we've got all kind of plants, perennials, annuals, flowers, trees, shrubs, and uh, the, the, which is the big thing we offer, but the biggest thing is we kind of have the knowledge to tell you what to plant where, when to plant it, what not to plant. Um, so yeah, come see us and we, we would love to help you out.